Do you ever look at your calendar and your stomach drops when you realize that next week, tomorrow, or even today is employee appreciation, nurses week, admin week, bosses week, or the like, and you haven't prepared anything? In this video, I'm going to give you a simple framework that you can use to make any one of these days meaningful when you have little or no time to prepare and little or no budget. Hi, I'm Chris Littlefield. I'm the founder of Beyond Thank You and it's been over 15 years helping leaders at top companies around the world build and maintain cultures where their people feel valued every day. Let's jump in. Now, the first thing that I want to acknowledge is that we should be doing things every day to let people know that we value and appreciate them. Why? Because it forms the basis of our relationship, it increases engagement, retention, and it's just the right thing to do. But days like Employer Appreciation Day, Admin Day, are kind of like birthdays and anniversaries. It's a reminder for this one day or this one week during the year, we're going to just focus on celebrating this group of people. Now, what people often don't realize is that meaning rarely comes from gifts. It comes more from what we communicate around them. Meaning gets created in the conversations that we have, in the things that we express, in the space that we create for others to express what they're proud of and what matters most to them. And that's why I created the pause conversation method that you can use, whether it's a team retreat, whether it's employee appreciation day, admin day, to create a meaningful conversation that has people feel valued at work. Now, pause is an acronym for people, appreciate, understand, summarize, and extend. And I use the word pause because we just need to step back and create time to be able to have these conversations. Now let's go through each one of the letters. P stands for people, meaning we need to bring our people together, whether it's in your weekly meeting via Zoom or Teams, whether it's in your conference room, whether it's in the lobby of your building or at your morning stand up at the beginning of people's shift. We just need to create time and space to be able to bring people together to have this conversation. Now, A is for appreciate. You want to open up the conversation by letting people know that you value who they are and what they contribute every day. Now, many leaders make the mistake of walking into the conversation, just setting it up, but not taking time to think about what do they value and appreciate most about their people ahead of time. So here are some great questions that you can use to get yourself prepared before you go into the meeting. You can reflect on what do you value most about your people? What would it be like if your people all left tomorrow? What is challenging about the work they do? And what do your customers or patients love most about your people? So think about that ahead of time, write down a couple notes and come ready, prepared to share that to kick off your meeting. You is for understand because most of the extraordinary work that people are doing within our organizations, we never see as leaders. So in this conversation, after you express what you appreciate, you wanna invite others to express what they appreciate, what they're proud of. Some really great questions that you can ask is, what are you most proud of from the last year? What are you most proud of our team for? Who wants to give a shout out to somebody in the group? And then after you ask each question, just open it up for people to share. And people may be hesitant at first, but after one person shares, then another person will share, and then another person will share. And probably at the end, you're gonna have to stop the conversation because you may run out of time. And that brings us to the next letter, S. Now, S is for summarize. So at the end of the conversation, you wanna summarize all the amazing things that were expressed. And then once again, you wanna express your appreciation for the group and thank them for all coming together and for the amazing work they've been doing throughout the year. E is for extend, because after we have this great moment together, we don't want it just to end right there in that conversation. We wanna amplify it. So either a day, a week later, send a follow-up message, sharing some of the things that stood out most to you, that you appreciate most about the people on your team, and then also remind people that Employee Appreciation Day, Nurses Week, Admin Day is not just this one day a year, and that we wanna be doing things every day to let people know around us that we value who they are, what they contribute, and what it takes to do their job each day. So the next time you look down at your calendar and you realize you completely forgot to prepare, just use the pause method. Just bring your people together, express your appreciation, create an opportunity to understand what matters most to them and give them an opportunity to express it. 
then summarize what everybody shared, and then after the meeting ends, extend it. And if you do, and you do this on a regular basis at each one of these holidays, and even just in your team meetings, you're gonna nurture that culture where people feel valued, where they feel appreciated, where they feel a sense of belonging, and where great work gets done.